my name is Henry Taylor, and uh, we're in Los Angeles, California right now at my studio. I make paintings and uh, make sculpture, installation, video. Just try to keep working, expanding, trying new things. But basically, I'm an artist, and uh, that's what I do. My first experience of the blues. Nah, boy, you can't have that. <laughs> no, but really, I think uh, just, just being aware and empathetic of um, difficulties of others and you know, even at a young age, you realize like, hey, mama got the blues, or daddy got the blues, or that guy down the street, you know, walking down there, you know, bumming money has the blues. So indirectly, you know, uh, I guess I uh, became familiar with the blues uh, through uh, people who had the blues. <laughs> Later on when I got older, my dad, I'd play blues for him and he'd just break down. You know, and I would say that was like, you know, when I was like 18 and 19, I, I saw like an immediate effect the blues had on him. Like, he's, oh boy, play that again, play that again, gotta play that again. And he'd just literally just cry, you know? And then I had a cousin, he was singing the blues, so I was aware of the blues. When I sit and make work, I try to, you know, I don't just think about the present day, you know, I might think about my mom or think about my dad, you know? That's just the way it goes. Maybe because uh, a lot of my work is narrative or, or whatever, but I never go into the studio shutting down everything, you know? I sort of brainstorm about things just like that. Everything gets the drum, you know, he searches out the tree, you know, peeps it out. You know, you just kind of just kind of, you know, at that time, try to be vulnerable and sensitive. And then, uh, but you see the blues, just like coming here, you see, you're driving down the street and you see somebody sleeping on the ground. Yeah, I live downtown. I might see a few, you know, well-to-do drinking coffee, but it's not before long that, you know, you see in this, and, I, and, that's who the, and they're black people, and I identify with that, so that's how it permeates. It permeates like there, where, and then here, these brothers had the blues. Their parents had the blues. blues. They're, you know, like me, my brother went to Vietnam. I got the blues just from knowing about, you know, what he had to go through. So it transitions in that way. It transitions verbally, artistically, musically. You know, sometimes they say, don't, you know, don't listen to the words. Hell, sometimes you don't know the words, but you're feeling it. You don't have to see somebody on the street to know that they're suffering. You're feeling it. 